Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a Friday morning. Happy New Year, if we haven't seen each other already. Today, we're going straight into it, so we're going to do a 30-minute core-focused workout. If you want to stick around for the chat after, then please do. But without further ado, let's get moving. So come on to your mat. And I promise that we'll be doing lots of work to boost your metabolism as well as work the core today. So we're going to start standing. We're going to have our feet hip width apart, your mat in front of you. Now draw your tummy in and just tuck your tailbone under, arms by your side. We're going to take a deep breath in, breathing out. Let's take the chin to the chest, bend the knees, roll down towards the floor and place your hands straight on the floor in front of you. Okay, now we're gonna walk those hands out. So walking those hands out until you're in a plank position. Any issues with your wrists, you can do this on your forearms. And then we're gonna bring the right knee in and back, left knee in and back, right knee in and back, left knee in and back. So it's right, left, right, left. We're gonna go back to our plank position. Draw the tummy in, so really for that belly button pulling in. Lift yourself up. Go into your up stretch, so lower the heels. Try and push away from your hands, so getting that nice stretch through the body. And then walk the hands back towards the feet. Let your head hang down, take a deep breath in. Breathe out, now ball the belly in. So pulling in here and unrolling the spine back up. All right, so we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to exhale going back down. And this time we're going to walk out to plank, but we're going to do a rotational movement. So hands on the floor, walk yourself out into your plank position. Take a moment to get the right position, yeah? Because if you're too rounded here, you're not going to work the abs. So you want to stabilize the shoulders, pull the belly in. Okay, and then I want you to take your right knee over to your left elbow. Can you see? And then come back, left to right, and back. All right, so we're doing a little crisscrossing motion, and you'll feel it's really squeezing down on that tummy. This is one of my favorite ones for really toning the waistline. That's it. And you can hear you get a little bit out of breath. Okay, we're gonna do four more. Four, three, two. One, lift up into your up stretch. Lower those heels. Give yourself a nice stretch out there through the body. And then walk those hands back to the feet. Take a deep breath in. Breathing out. Let's unroll the spine. And come all the way up. Okay. Back down we go. Inhale. Exhale, chin to the chest. Rolling down. So we're going to repeat. The first exercise now, so walking out, and that's the knees coming forward, so we make sure we're in a plank position, pull the tummy in, just drop the hips a little, but don't feel it, you don't want to be feeling it in your back, all right, right knee in, and left, and right, and left, and if you want to go a little bit faster, you can go a little faster, okay, double sets now, all right, here we go, for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift those hips up, lower those heels, find that stretch in the body, and then walking the hands back to the feet. Take a deep breath in, breathing out, drawing the tummy in, and unrolling the spine. Okay, last time we're going to do the crisscross movement. So take a breath in. Breathing out, chin to the chest, rolling down. Take your time. This is all part of the core work. All right, place those hands in front. Walk those hands out. Find that position. Pull your belly button in. And then right knee to left elbow and left to right. So we're doing that nice little rotation movement. That's it. Good. Keep it going. Really feeling that squeezing down at the center of the body. And then we're going to go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lifting up. 
lowering those heels. Good, now lift the heels and this time you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna come into a kneeling position. Relax the feet for a moment. Okay, and again, your wrists hurt, you can go onto your forearms. Otherwise, we're gonna stay in this position. Let's tuck the toes back under and let's just bring our knees together. Now I want you to stick your bottom out so you've got a nice extended spine, okay? And also think about not being rounded in that upper back, so chest forward slightly. And now as you breathe out, you're just gonna float the knees off the floor and bring them down. Float them up and down, lift and low. So as you're floating them up, I want you to really pull that tummy in, yeah? So if you add that Pilates breathing, it's exhale to lift, inhale to lower. And every time you lift, pull your belly button in. So you really feel that muscle working inside your core there. And down, lift and lower. One more, lift and lower. Okay, relax your feet. Just come back for a moment, have a little stretch out. Take your head down and then come back up. Bring those feet together, tuck the toes under. Now we're gonna add a rotation. Okay, so you lifting up, you're turning both your knees to your right. Can you see? So you're getting a real twist down and then lower. So you get that little break in between. So we're gonna lift, now we're gonna to turn to our left. That's it, turn, good, and lower. Lift, rotate, back, and lower. Lift, rotate, back, and lower. You're gonna try and do four more. Lift, rotate, back, and lower. Lift, twist. All right, let's see if you can do a little bit more movement. Last two, so twist as far as you can. Oh, that's it. And down, and last one, lift. Twist, twist, twist. Good, and down. Well done. Coming back and just take your chest down for a moment, head down. You can bring your arms down by your side if you want. And just take a couple of deep breaths there. Good, and unroll the spine. Okay, so we're gonna come on to uh, some sitting work now. So I'm giving you kind of 10 minutes standing, 10 minutes sitting, we're gonna do some line work as well. So we're sitting up and we've got our knees completely together and we're gonna work on the tummy. All right, so I'm just gonna keep telling you, pull the belly button in. I want you to really try and feel that pulling in because that's what's going to flatten the tummy. It's really getting that muscle working. Yeah, the TVA muscle across here. So you're gonna hold on underneath your knees, lift up through the spine, take a breath in, breathe out. Let's pull that belly in and come back. And we're gonna hold it here. I'm just gonna take my arms away so you can see. So here, I'm gonna let my tummy go. You can see it's doming. And what we're gonna do is gonna take a breath in and we're gonna breathe out and pull in. And can you see how it sinks down? Yeah, that's that muscle working. So that's what we're gonna do. So holding on, take a breath in and exhale, pull in. Inhale. Exhale, pull in. So look down at your own tummy, all right, and just see what's going on. See if you can pull in any further. Keep that going. One more. Now keep holding it in and go a little bit lower down. Now as you take a breath in, you're gonna hold, and as you breathe out, you're gonna lift up a little bit. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Really working that core, lower and lift. Make sure you pull in so you're not straining your back. Okay, we want to really target right here. And that, four more, four, 
three, two, one. Now keep pulling in, come all the way up and just coming over. Lifting up, draw those shoulders down. We're going to come back. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, think of pulling that belly in. Coming back. And this time I want you to take your elbows back behind you. Keep pulling that tummy in. Okay, so you're going to take a breath in. You're going to breathe out, lifting the right leg up. And then lifting the left. Okay, so now we're going to inhale. And as we exhale, we're going to pull the belly in and lower the right leg. Inhale, come up, same leg. And again, look at your tummy if you need to, to really remind yourself not to just move the leg. This is core work. You're going to feel this lower in the abdominals now. Two more. Okay, left leg. Exhale as you lower. And back. Lower and back. Two, one. Well done. Now we're going to try and alternate legs. So we're going to take the right leg down and then the left leg down. Right leg down and then the left. So we exhale, inhale as they switch, exhale to lower. Three, two, one, well done. Coming up, push yourself all the way up. Open those knees, take hold of your ankles, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, let's just press forward, little stretch of the hips, little rest of the tummy for a moment. Good. And come up. All right, so next exercise, we're going to come and lie down for this one. So lying down. Okay, so we're in our neutral position. So our feet are now apart. They're same width as the hips, so quite narrow. Hands down. You're going to take a breath in, and you're going to breathe out into a pelvic curl. So you pull the belly in. You peel the spine all the way up, and we're going to stay up in the air. And now what I want you to do, we haven't done this before, is to drop your right bottom cheek down. So you're going to rotate in the body, try and drop your right bottom cheek to the floor, so side of the hip, and then lift back up, and then the left side, lift and back up. So it's going to work your glutes as well as your waist, down and push up, down and push up. That's it. Down and push up. Down and push up. Now, this is a New Year challenge. You're going to take your right leg, your right foot, and put it behind your left ankle, letting the right knee drop out to the side. Now try and rotate that body. So you're trying to get the right knee down to the floor. We're trying to rotate here in the waist. You can see left hip is higher than the right. Then we're going to twist back and place the foot there. All right, I know that's a tricky one if you haven't done it before. Okay, now we're going to take that left foot, slide it behind the ankle. All right, let the left knee drop and try and rotate to your left. All right, you're going to feel it all through here, through your oblique muscles. It's the side of the waist. And come back, pushing up. We'll try it one more time each side. I'm sure your bottom muscles are screaming. Right foot behind the left ankle. Rotate as far as you can, using your arms and shoulders to stabilize. And come back. Left foot behind the right ankle rotates. You've got to push down into those arms whilst turning the hips and come up. Take a deep breath in and breathing out, coming all the way down. Let's just do a couple of pelvic curls to release the muscles. So exhale to tilt and roll that spine up. Inhale to hold and exhale. 
coming all the way down. One more deep breath in. Exhale to tilt and roll that spine up. Inhale to hold and exhale to come back down. Now let's bring the legs into tabletop. We should all know this one because we do it a lot. It's a very traditional exercise. So tabletop position, take your arms out to the side. Now come, try and keep your upper body still whilst taking your knees to the right. So you're getting that nice rotation through the center of the body. Go as far as you can, but don't let your knees separate. And then exhale, come back up. Now we're gonna go the other way, over to the left, inhale. Exhale to come back up. These exercises I do every day and I can promise you they really do work for toning that center of the body. Yeah, especially this because you've got the whole weight of the legs on those tummy muscles and lifting up. Good. Inhale as you go right and exhale up. That's it, and inhale left, and exhale to come up. Well done. Let's take the feet down. Let's go into a nice simple move before we go back into some more challenging ones. So let's take the hands behind the head, fingers interlaced, neutral position. So if you're not sure if you're neutral, well, uh, I'll talk you through it. You're going to take a breath in. You're going to exhale to lift head and chest up. Now, looking at your hips, you want your pelvis completely flat. So pubic bone and two hip bones on the same level. Okay, and you come as high as you can without tilting your pelvis. So you've really got to use those deep core muscles here. And they're the ones that will flatten the tummy. Take a breath in. And breathe out to come back down. So you're going to inhale there. Exhale to lift up. Inhale to hold. And exhale to lower. We'll do two more deep breaths in. And exhale to lift. Inhale to hold. And exhale to lower. Last one, deep breath in. And exhale to lift. Good, stay there. Inhale to hold. And as you exhale, let's try and turn our rib cage to the right, keeping our hips still. Really rotating and twisting that body and come back to center. Remember, pelvis doesn't move. That's where you get the work. We're going left and back to center. Right and center, left and center, right and center. One more, left and center. Take a deep breath in. See if you can come any higher. See if you can pull your belly in any more and then come all the way down. Phew. Okay, so let's bring our legs up now. And what we're going to do is put our hands underneath us, okay? So just need to wiggle to your right and left and get your hands around the back of your waist, okay? And the idea is that you can feel the pelvis just under the uh, fingers there, or it might feel a bit squishy at the moment, but what we want to do is try and keep that connection. So you're going to bring your knees in, you'll feel the weight on your hands, yeah? And then you're going to take your knees away and you're going to feel your pelvis move away. All right. And what we want to do is keep that connection. All right. So from here, we're going to lower the right leg down and bring it back up and lower the left leg down and bring it back up. OK, so I'm starting you off easy so you can feel what we're doing. So don't allow your pelvis to lose contact with your hands, okay? Down and up, one more, down and up. Now you can extend your legs 
as far as you're able. If you can straighten them, great. If you can't, just as straight as you can manage. And we're going to do a lovely little move. So we're now going to rotate the legs out. Okay, so you're trying to bring the back of the knees together and you're going to cross your right ankle in front of your left. If you can hear any clicking, it's my back. <laughs> my back started to click as I do this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two little moves. So we're going to switch legs. One, two, and then we're going to open the legs wide and come back with the left leg in front. So always thinking about crossing at the ankles. So then we're going to go one, two, open, close. One, two, open, close. So each time you come back, you want the other foot in front. Don't worry which way you're doing it. Or if you get confused, just change it each time. All right, and you're going to feel this in your legs. And you are going to start to feel it in your core in a minute. Okay, because we're going to do one more. All right, we're going to come in, bend the knees, we're going to have a little rest. And then we're going to do the same move, but we're going to take the legs down towards the floor and back up. Okay, and this is where you're really going to need to find that connection. So cross your right leg over your left. Place your hands back underneath your pelvis. All right, make sure you've got that connection. Okay, and then we're going to cross. One, two, open, come back, but lower the legs a little. All right, then we're going to do one, two, open, close. One, two, so each time we're going lower. Go as low as you're able to maintain that connection and then start to work your way back up. All right, so it's one, two, open, close. One, two, open, close. All right, we'll leave that one there. You're going to bring your knees into your chest. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pull those knees in. I'm trying to give you little moments of rest in between because this is a challenging core session today. Exhale, pulling in. And one more, exhale. Good. Let's bring those legs back up. Now that movement, we're just going to do the crisscross now. So that's just the turning, okay? So place your hands back underneath your pelvis. You can wiggle side to side if you need to. All right, make sure you're around the top of the pelvis. And let's cross the right leg over the left. And now we're going to start to just switch at the ankle. So just start by just switching. One, two, one, two, one, two. Two. Now we're going to start to work our way down for eight. I'm going to count it and then back up for eight. Are you ready? Let's do it. So we're going to lower two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lift. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, and one more time, and lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. Let's take the hands out. Bring those knees in. I'm sure you're breathing a sigh of relief right now that that one is over. <laughs> All right. And then from there, let's come on up and onto our side. Okay. So we're going to have the knees bent. Going to be on our side, elbow underneath the shoulder. I think of lifting up through here. Okay. And let's take this hand behind the head. All right. So we're going to do a nice clamshell. We're going to exhale to open. And inhale to lower. So you might be thinking, how is this working my waist? Well, it's working your waist because you're having to maintain this lift through here. Okay, so there's a lot of work going on through this part of the body and around here and obviously the glutes as you open. And lower. Open. And lower. Two more. Open. 
and lower and open and lower. Now keep your top half where it is, but just push into that elbow, lift up and come down. Lift up and down. Lift up and down. Again, we're working through here. Obviously, you'll feel it in your shoulders as well. And down. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Now I want you to reach those legs out, cross the right leg over the left. And now we're going to try and do the same lift from here. So you want to make sure this foot, this top leg is pressing down for four, four, three, two, one, and come on down. Let's go up. Let's rest that shoulder. Go on to the other side. So clown shells on this side. Okay, so think of your position to start with. You've got that elbow underneath your shoulder. You're really lifting up under here. Nice and open. Exhale, open. Inhale, lower. Exhale, open. Inhale, lower. Open and lower. So as you open, you want to add that breathing. You're going to exhale, which is when you pull the belly button in and lower down. Open and lower. Open. And low, one more, open and low. And now just lift straight up and down, straight up and down. Good, lift and lower, lift and lower. Four, three, two, one. Well done, let's send both legs out, top leg cross over, make sure your hips are not rolling back. So bring them back onto the side. Arm back in position, push up and down. Push up and down. Push up and down. One more. Push up. Well done. And come on down. Press yourself up. Let's just do a nice little stretch. Okay, so. What we're going to do is we're going to have our feet together like this. So you're facing me and this will still work your way. So we're doing lots of rotation today. So bring your feet as close as is comfortable for you. Then take your right hand, put it over your left ankle. Okay, left hand goes behind you. Now press into that hand, lift your chest, feel your rib cage lifting. And then you're just going to turn, <coughs> excuse me. To look behind you. That's it. And as you're doing your breathing, keep working on that core. So every exhale, think of actively pulling the tummy in. So even when you're breathing, you're exercising your core. Let's switch hands now. So come back around, left hand across the ankle, right hand behind. Think of lifting up through the chest. So really lift up. You want that lift first, and then you're going to rotate. Well done. Come back around, and let's have those legs out in front. All right, sitting up nice and tall. If you tighten the hamstrings, keep your knees bent. Otherwise, we're going to lift up tall. We're going to do some roll-ups, so arms out in front. Take a breath in. Now exhale, really pull in on that tummy. So feel it pulling right in towards the spine, coming just down to your waistband. You're not going to go all the way down. And you're going to take a breath in. You're going to exhale, lift a little, and inhale lower. Exhale, lift a little, and inhale lower. Exhale, lift a little. And lower, one more, exhale, lift, come all the way up, holding onto your legs, wherever you can reach, and just folding forward. Nice little stretch. And then we're going to come back up, and we're going to do that again. Deep breath in, exhale, coming back. So as far back as you can control it. If your feet lift, then don't go any further. If you can, you want to get them to maybe the back of your waistband, okay? Take a breath in, exhale, little lift, inhale, lower. 
Exhale, a little lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, a little lift. Inhale, lower. And exhale, a little lift. Coming all the way up. All the way up. That's it. And flexing forward. Well done. Restacking that spine. Lovely. Let's bend the knees. Let's just stretch out the tummy muscles before we finish. All right. So knees bent, feet hip width apart, hands behind you, fingertips pointing out. If you're very flexible, they can point towards you. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, just lift on up. Find that stretch in the shoulders, stretch through the tummy muscles. That's it. Take a breath in and exhale coming down one more deep breath in exhale lifting up and inhale down and just very last exercise i promise you this is lovely it's not a it's going to feel good it's going to be like a lovely stretch so lie all the way down bring your arms overhead Okay, so just lying there now, I want you to reach up with your right hand, down with your right foot, and imagine someone's pulling on your foot and your arm at the same time, feeling the stretch down through those abdominals. Okay, and relax, and last one. Left side, so reaching up with the left hand, down with the left foot. Lovely stretch. And relax. Well done. Bring your knees into a bent knee position and then pull them into your chest. Take a breath in. Exhale, pulling in. And release. And again, exhale in. And release. And on the next one, we're going to pull in a little flick of the legs and bring yourself up. And that's you all done for today. So thank you very much for joining me. If you need to go, then do press the like button. Please do subscribe. I'm trying to increase my subscribers because I know a lot, a lot of people watch the channel but aren't necessarily subscribed. But it'd be great if you did because that really helps me with YouTube. And if you want to stick around for the chat, I'll come and chat to you now. Okay, everyone, well done. I hope that was okay. I know I threw a few challenges at you there today. So I hope that was all right for you all. Do let me know uh, in the chat there how that was for you. And uh, thanks very much for joining me. So if you haven't done the other one, I did a workout on Monday, which was a standing workout uh, for New Year. So there's a standing workout that went out live on Monday, and that's all standing, that's all kind of calorie boosting work or metabolism boosting, I like to say, because uh, we all know about calories and we don't really want to be talking calories this time of year, do we? We just want to be able to get back into our exercise. So Monday, I would highly recommend you do. It's a really good workout. And if you combine Monday with this one, then you've got a full hour of calorie boosting, metabolic rate boosting exercise, and really deep core work that we did today. And I know today there were some very challenging moves in there, but I just wanted to throw something new at you for the new year. So you can see that we are going to be building and growing our community and our exercise, yes, over the new year. So um, I've got a couple, oh, I've got a message here uh, from Jill. And uh, it's from Jill, but it's for Alan. So Alan, I hope you're listening. Are you listening? So uh, Jill would like me to wish you, Alan, a very, very happy birthday for tomorrow. So Alan, a happy birthday for you tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. And yes, big hug from me and uh, have a lovely day tomorrow. Okay, I hope that worked. Uh, so I'm going to go through the donations and also just kind of want to hear what you guys thought of the session. So if you're free to chat, then do stick around because I'm just going to run through 
my donations uh, so far today. Um, so Yvonne, I'm going to the top because I know Yvonne, you're always first on the chat. You're brilliant, aren't you, getting on that chat? So Yvonne, thank you very much for your donation. Lovely to have you here. And yes, likewise, I'm really looking forward to a new year of Pilates with you too. So whether we're in lockdowns or not in lockdowns, hopefully for a lot of us, we'll be moving out of lockdowns this year and into a kind of more normal life. Um, but because this is all working so well, I'm just going to keep doing this. So there'll always be a Pilates class for you on a Friday morning at 10 a.m. UK time. And I'm now going to be doing one a month on a Monday at 4.30. And that's for everybody, but it's especially for poor, for people who are on the other side of the pond who would like to do a session in the morning, because I know you come very early, some of you. Uh, so that will also be up. So keep an eye on my channel because I post the lives normally a few days before I do them. But I'm going to try and aim for Mondays being around the first Monday of the month and then every Friday at 10 as always. OK, uh, Wendy Grantham. Good morning, Wendy. Lovely to have you here. Thank you very much for your donation and your cup of coffee, uh, which I'm very much looking forward to this morning because I'm looking at the temperature in here right now, where I am right now, it's uh, 14 degrees. So it's pretty chilly. It was five degrees this morning. So we've had the heater on warming everything up. But yes, it's a little chilly. So I'm looking forward to my coffee later. Uh, Wendy says, happy Friday, everyone from a frosty southwest France. Thank you, as always, for everything you do, Rachel to keep us motivated and focused on our well-being. Well, you're very welcome. And Wendy, how lovely that you're in France. It sounds lovely. I love the idea of kind of frosty leaves in the winter. I don't mind the winter. I don't know about you guys. Winter's fine with me as long as there's sunshine. It's when it's grey, that's when I find it difficult. But it's sunny today, so it's all, all good over here in the UK. So happy holidays, Wendy. Uh, Sarah Runner calls. Good morning, Sarah. Thank you very much for your donation. Lovely to see you here. And Sylvia Mears. Good morning, Sylvia. Thank you for your donation as well. Sarah says, so looking forward to today. Really enjoyed this week's playlist that you've all put together. Oh, I'm really glad you enjoyed that, Sarah. And thank you for the reminder. Yes, anyone out there who's looking to just get into moving again this January, I created a playlist on YouTube. It's called January. It's just got that hair is in the way. It's called January Moves Me. And it's a curated playlist. So I've sort of gone through my workouts and put together what I feel is the right uh, sort of exercise for you do for you to be doing your first week back in January. So there's a mixture of my uh, live class from Monday. So that's obviously the most recent class. Today's class is in there as well now. Um, and in between, there's a variation. There's some very challenging core classes, but there's also classes to loosen stiff hips, uh, stiff shoulders, uh, stiff backs, all that kind of stuff. OK, so it's a kind of a mix of the two, because if you are thinking, oh, I want to get back into exercise this January and I really want to get fit and all that kind of stuff. What a lot of people make the mistake of doing is going hard and fast on their first week. And actually what you need to do is prep your body. So if you're going towards, if you're building up to fitness, whether that's long runs or cycle rides or five-a-side football or tennis, whatever it is your thing, you want to kind of really condition that body before you put it under a lot of stress and strain. And Pilates is not easy, as many of you will know, especially if you did today's session. It's not easy, but it's low impact. So it doesn't hurt your joints. It doesn't jar the joints. And what it does is it really works on increasing your muscle strength and tone and also your flexibility and range of motion. And all those things are important for whatever you do in your life, whether it's, you know, just going and carrying the shopping home from the town or whether it's, you know, doing a big sports event. 
OK, so have a look at that playlist if you get the chance. It's called January Moves Me. OK, um, yeah. And if you like those, thanks for telling me, Sarah, about that, because I'll, I'll look at doing some more of those suggested workouts. If you if you like having a kind of a goal for the week, right, we're going to do these. Um, and someone did ask me recently, actually, uh, about I think it was a message I had on my YouTube and it was about rest days. Uh, people saying, oh, you know, should I have a rest day? Um, and that's, that's a really interesting question because I generally have maybe one day a week where I won't do uh, Pilates, but I will always do some movement. So it might be a day where I take my dog out for a, a long walk. So I'll do an hour or two hour walk with her. And that would be my rest day. But I never have a day where I do nothing. And that's because what I've learned as I've got older, and even when I was a young dancer, it was the case. But as I've got older, what I've realized is a little bit of movement every day helps you. That doesn't mean you have to go and do a crazy hour long workout every day. That's not what I mean. But what I mean is you must keep your body moving. Um, so rest days are, I would say, entirely up to you. I know some people say, oh, you know, have a rest day on Sunday or whatever. I think make it work for you, whatever you feels right for you. Uh, you might love a workout on a Sunday uh, because, you know, you work full time during the week and you have less time. So it might be that during the week when you're at work, you've got a rest day there because you've got a busy day at work and then you do your exercise on the weekend. But whatever you do, do a little bit of movement every day. And even if that's just a bit of walking, that's fine. But just keep moving. Uh, anyway, enough said on that. So Carol will know. Hello, Carol. Lovely to have you back. Says, morning all. Hope my core is ready for this session. Looking forward to another year of Pilates. Lovely to have you here, Carol. I hope that session was all right because I did throw in one or two very challenging exercises I know, but I always feel it's good to get challenged because I was challenging myself as well, which you probably heard from me heavy breathing <laughs> into my microphone. Uh, good morning, Kathy Freeman. Hello, Kathy. Uh, Kathy's in Berlin. Says greetings from Chile, Berlin. Looking forward to working my core again. Yeah, this was a session today. I would say that was a challenging, probably intermediate level, possibly slightly advanced session. Um, and one of those ones that you can come back to, uh, particularly if you do other sport, it's really good to really target the core sometimes and really kind of tune into that center of the body. Uh, so do make if you liked it or if you found it a challenge, uh, put it into one of your favorites and go back and do it again in a week's time or uh, on the weekend and see if you can really build up that strength. Uh, okay, Kathy, lovely to have you here and happy new year. Leslie Matter, and a happy new year to you, Leslie. Thank you very much for your donation, Leslie. And yeah, let me know how the session went for you. Carlin Hawkgren, hello, Carlin, and happy new year to you over in the States and to everyone. Uh, that's a lovely message there, Carlin. Uh, lovely to have you with us as always. Thanks for joining us. Let me know, Carlin, how that was for you and how your knee is. I hope it's better. Uh, Judy Hogarth, hello, Judy. Judy says, thanks so much for knee with pillow exercises. They were excruciating, but my knee felt great. Uh, oh, that's lovely. So, Judy, you just did my Pilates for painful knees with the cushion. Um, and I'm really glad it helped your knees. And yes, you're very welcome. Maybe, Judy, that's one for you to have in your rotor every week. Because if your knee felt great after, that's telling you it's really helping with that knee issue. So maybe put it into one of your regulars and do it every week. But I'm really glad that helped you, Judy. Big hug to you over in Dorset. Uh, okay, moving on. Jennifer Coleman, thank you very much, Jennifer, for your donation. That's very kind of you. I can see you are over in, let's see, are you in Australia? I think maybe. 
Let me know, Jennifer. I'm just trying to work out the currencies as I go down. Sylvia Mears. Good morning, Sylvia. Sylvia says, Happy New Year, everyone. I've been very lax in exercising over the last six months. Started again this week. Luckily, I can join the live session today. Looking forward to it. Okay, Sylvia, I hope you were okay with the session today because it was a bit of a challenge, that's one, wasn't it? Ah, but good. Jennifer, yes, you are in Oz. I can see now because I'm going down the chat. Happy New Year, everyone. I look forward to doing this class in the morning. It's movie watching. It's movie watching time here in Oz. Of course, because in Australia, it's a Friday night, isn't it? So enjoy your movie, Jennifer. Uh, Yvonne Woodhouse, good morning, Yvonne. Happy New Year to all lovely Pilates buddies. Missed a few Friday mornings, but I've done catch up. But glad to be back for Friday morning sessions. Great start to the weekend. I know how you feel, Yvonne, because I kind of feel the same way teaching you all. I always feel like, oh, it's such a nice way to kind of roll into the weekend is doing Pilates with all of you. You can see I keep adjusting my fringe because it's getting a little bit long and uh, <laughs> it's getting in my way. Anyway, uh, going down the chat, Susan Eisenbach, thank you for your donation. And Happy New Year to you. And Cheryl Allen, thank you for your donation as well. And from London, Happy New Year to you. And lovely to have you back. And Kieran Gohill uh, has said a lovely good morning to Rachel Cohen and Boo and Pilates Buddies. Kieran Boo's in her doggy daycare today. So um, we are treating Boo every now and then to a day in doggy daycare, which is she loves, she absolutely loves because she gets to hang out with 10 other dogs, goes to big walks out in the country, all sorts of lovely things that dogs love to do. So she's in daycare today, but she will be back, I think, uh, next week. Um, happy New Year to you, Kieran. Margaret Scott, Happy New Year, Margaret. Margaret says, good morning, Pilates buddies, everywhere from a dull, wet Somerset. Good morning to you, Margaret. Uh, Janet Nolan, thank you for your donation. Uh, lots of lovely familiar names here. Karina Perry. Hello, Karina, who's in Mallorca. Uh, lovely to see you, Karina. Happy New Year to you. Uh, what is that in Spanish? Is it uh, Bueno, Buen Nuevo? Something like that. I can't remember. No, that's not right, is it? Happy is Feliz, uh, Nuevo. Ano, something like that, I think. I don't know. I hope I got that right. Um, okay, and yes, just reiterating, Alan Ackers, happy birthday from me to you. Tiona, uh, Tiona, hello, Tiona in France. Tiona says, bon année. Happy New Year, everyone. Also from the southwest of France. Anne Butler says, Happy New Year, everyone. Haircut this morning, so we'll catch up later. Trying to do your 40, 50 minutes Pilates every morning and using your videos. So many thanks for all the variety. Coffees have been ordered. Bless you, Anne Butler. And thank you very much indeed. Uh, going down, Michelle Kobayashi. Hello, Michelle, over in Yokohama in Japan. Uh, happy New Year to you. Michelle says, everyone, it's freezing here. It was a minus four this morning. Thank you for today's Pilates. A great way for me to warm up this evening. Oh, you're very welcome, Michelle. We'll have a lovely evening in Japan. Nice to see you there. Linda Verney Thompson says, happy Friday, everyone. Icy and chilly in the Cotswolds today. Yes, yeah, a bit of an icy one, isn't it, Linda? But lovely to have you here. I hope you're feeling nice and warm, Linda, after our core session today. Tony Bryan says, morning from snow, snow in Yorkshire or snowy Yorkshire. Sorry I'm late. Happy New Year. Yes, Tony, I saw on the news you've got snow up there. So I'm sure it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's such a lovely county. Uh, in fact, Tony, it's on my list to visit, maybe this year even. Uh, I'd love to come up to Yorkshire, so um, I will let you know if I'm coming your way. But yes, stay nice and warm and snuggly, and uh, we'll see you soon. Lily Mars, good morning. Lily says, hi, everyone. Have to miss today's class, but wanted to wish all my Pilates buddies a very happy new year. Thank you, Rachel and Cohen, for all you do and looking forward to doing the workout later on. Well, Happy New Year to you, Lily. 
And yes, I look forward to catching up with you soon. Tony, thank you so much for your donation. Happy New Year to you. Uh, Letty Beckwith says, I'm making bagels. To, uh, I'm going to do this later. Leslie, that sounds absolutely lovely. Really wonderful. Well, enjoy your bagels. Uh, Jill Nichols has donated. Thank you very much indeed, Jill. Caroline Ford, good morning, Caroline, says, Happy New Year, everyone. I can't manage the class this morning, but I do look forward to doing it later. Uh, best wishes, uh, Rachel and Cohn. Well, look, do enjoy the workout. Uh, Leslie Beckwith, oh, you're just asking if it's live. Yes, it is live, Leslie. We're always live, Leslie, on Fridays at 10 a.m. UK time. So if you do want to pop in or you get your bagels done earlier, you can pop in and see me or, or pop and see me before you do your bagels. Uh, but I just love the picture of you cooking bagels. That just sounds fantastic. Anne from London. Here we go with feedback, everyone. Anne from London says, phew, that was a challenge. Yeah, it was a challenge uh, indeed. But well done for doing it, Anne. Kieran Gohill says, thanks. It was a very good session. Carol says, Carol Woolno says, that was tough. I think I need to go back a level. We're struggling with my lower back. So Carol, or Carol, should I say, uh, yeah, when you start to feel it in your lower back, I think a lot of the, the ones that were really challenging were the ones where we were taking the legs down, weren't they, and bringing them up. And what I would say is you don't necessarily need to go back a level, but what you can do is reduce the range of the movement. So if we're lying on the floor, or if you're lying on the floor and you've got your legs up and we were doing that crisscross going down, don't go down. Just go to the point where you feel it's a struggle that you can hold it using your tummy muscles. If you feel you can't hold it, then that's too far for you right now. All right. And then just bring it back a little. But there's always a way to adapt it so it works for your body. And uh, all it means is that you're not ready for that yet, but you can still do the movement. Just stay in the higher range so it doesn't go into your lower back. Because what happens for a lot of people is that when uh, there's a back issue, uh, we need to strengthen, obviously, our core. But if the core's not quite strong enough, and do bear in mind, Carol, I did give you a very challenging exercise today. So when those legs are out sort of at a horizontal level like that, it is going to be very, very hard for most people. It's hard for me too. All right. So just work within the range that works for you. But you did it. So well done. Really, really good. Uh, Sylvia Mir says, thanks, Rachel. That was great. My tummy will know about it tomorrow. Yes, I think it will. I think my tummy will as well. Um, Leslie Beckford says, it looks like it might be rough for this 57-year-old, but I'm going to try. Okay, well, Leslie, let me know how you did, because I'm 57 as well, and I do these exercises on a regular basis. So if it does feel tough, I want you to know that I am the same age and that you can get there. Yeah, I do exercise pretty much every day. And I do have the benefit of having done it for a long, 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 long time. But I want you to know that you can reach that. You can reach that level of fitness, a good level of fitness with that regular practice. So I hope it was OK for you. Carol Neath, good morning, Carol. Happy New Year. Thank you very much indeed for your donation this morning. That's really appreciated. Uh, Carlin Hawkins says, love a challenge. And part one, I shall do tomorrow. Excellent. Well done, Carlin. Leslie says, thank you, Rachel. I really enjoyed it and surprised myself how much I could do. Well done, Leslie. That's brilliant. You see, you're stronger than you know. Uh, Cheryl Allen says, Happy New Year to everyone. Great workout. I love these live sessions. Had a bad back over the holidays, but thank you, Rachel, for your back relief routines. I'm feeling great now. Oh, really pleased to hear that, Cheryl. Really well done. Caroline Hardy says, oh, thank you. That was so good. I did Mondays and the happy hips as well. I'm going to continue regularly with you. I have done it on and off, but I think my body needs you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was great. Yes, Caroline, just doing a little bit every day. It's amazing. Uh, 
how you can really build your strength and learn to work with things. You know, I, I have a bad neck. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that to anyone, but I have a little issue in my neck and I have a little issue in my lower back. And my right hip gets a bit stiff every now and then. Uh, and I'm telling you this because I don't want you to think that I'm some uh, perfect person who doesn't have any issues, you know, uh, any problems. I'm just like you guys. I have issues in my body that I have to work with. And the thing that I have found works the most, and I know lots of you hear me say this every week, is regular practice. And Caroline, you know what? I think you, you've hit the nail on the head there. You can see that by doing it, it's helping your body heal and manage uh, those conditions you might be sort of dealing with. So yes, keep it up, Caroline. And I'm here every Friday, so you just pop in and see me every Friday. Uh, Teresa Beddingfield, good morning, Teresa. Happy New Year. Teresa says, good workout. Thank you very much, Teresa. Uh, Yvonne Thought says, wow, that was certainly a challenging session, in particular the leg crisscrossing part. Yeah, that's an old, um, I say an old, it's a dance exercise. I used to do a class in London, which was a mix of dance fitness to pop music and Pilates. And that was one of the uh, exercises that I used to do regularly. And my goodness, yes, you can really feel that one, can't you? Uh, so well done, Yvonne, for doing it. Uh, Margaret Scott says, wow, that was challenging. Message to Leslie B, if a 66-year-old can give it a go, then so can you. Well done, Margaret. And good for you. I love that. I love the fact that you chat to each other. That's great. Sue Sambles, good morning, Sue, says, Happy New Year, Rachel Cohen and Boo. That was challenging, but thank you as always. May I request another small ball session, please? Yes, you may. I'm going to write that down, Sue Sambles. Uh, small ball session. I've got quite a few requests coming in. So do know that I do make a little list and then I try and film one of those things every week. A uh, small ball session. Yes. Okay, Sue, it's on the list. All right. Margaret Scott, thank you for your donation. And Cherry Marshall, thank you very much for your donation and your fabulous emojis. Uh, so we've got a fist bump. Oh, I see. Fist bump, Margaret. Love it. Fist bumping you back, Margaret. And Cherry Marshall has got a superwoman, <laughs> which I love. Uh, Carol Neath, Happy New Year. Thanks, Rachel. Really needed the session this morning to lift the sluggish feeling after Christmas. We'll look up your Monday session. Yeah, uh, really good, uh, the Monday session, Carol, as a combination with this one, because Monday is all standing work and a lot of leg work. And today was a lot of core work, quite a bit of shoulder and a little bit of leg as well. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Cherry Marshall says, thanks so much. Haven't been to the live session for a while, but really great. Love the new exercises. Thank you, Cherry. Uh, Patricia Dunn, hello, Pat. Lovely to see you. Uh, the lovely Pat in Chiswick, that is, isn't it? Amazed how much I could do as a member of the Easy Joint Senior Class. <laughs> Modified, of course. Well, well done, Pat. You see, Pat, you see, because you do that, session with me regularly. So Pat, everybody does a live session via Zoom with me on a Monday, which is called the Easy Joint class. And that's for people who just want to feel easier in their joints. Uh, you don't have to be older. Many of the people in the class are older, or my age and older, uh, should I say. But well done, Pat. That's excellent. Well, have a lovely weekend, Pat. And I'll look forward to seeing you on Monday. Judy Hogar says, thanks so much for the session. I could do most of it, but did find it a challenge. I felt disappointed in myself not being able to do it all. Big hugs, Judy. Judy, don't be disappointed. Oh, no, please don't be disappointed because, you know, Judy, uh, me as your cheerleader and as your supporter, I'm here to help you move every week, but I'm also here to challenge you. But I don't want you to ever be disappointed if something you can't do. Yeah, it's not about being disappointed in yourself. Because I think, Judy, if I could say this, if you don't mind, you're being a little hard on yourself. Yes, 
you come every week, you do this class every week. That's a lot more than a lot of other people do. So you should really be very proud of what you're doing. And if there's an exercise you can't do, don't be disappointed. Just think, oh, that maybe that one's not for me. Or think, well, how could I modify that? As one of our other ladies did earlier, how can I modify that so I can do it, yeah? Because it's not about you being able to do everything perfectly we want to chuck that right out the window yeah we that's not the way we think and that's not the way we are in this pilates community yeah we're about supporting each other helping each other move better and doing the best that we can yes it's not about reaching some goal that for most of us me included is not attainable yeah because we've got to accept the fact that for many of us and i'm talking for myself as well we're getting older. Everyone's getting older. Uh, but for many of us, we are older. And there are things that maybe are going to be difficult or maybe not achievable. But it doesn't mean that you're not doing great because you are, Judy. So please take that on board and sending big hugs back to you. OK, uh, Sandy McClure, thank you for your donation. Much appreciated. Um, and Margaret, did you see Judy? Look, Margaret said, don't worry, Judy, I couldn't do it all either, but we gave it a go and that's what's important. Thank you so much, Margaret. Absolutely. Well said. Uh, so Darmpreet Singh, hello to you. Welcome. Uh, Ranjit, good morning, Ranjit. Lovely to have you here. Ranjit says, happy new year. Missed your sessions for one month, but brilliant to come back to your live sessions. Well, it's brilliant to have you back, Ranjit. Welcome back. And I hope you're well. And thank you very, very much for your donations uh, this morning. Carlin Hawkins says, I'm with you, Rachel. I'm moving every day. I'm 63. My rest day is a restorative uh, or yin yoga class to relax and stretch. Perfect, Carlin. That's really good. In fact, I started doing a little bit of yoga as well um, down here locally where I live because I just like and it's a really easy class. And I just really like that because I feel, yeah, it restores the body, doesn't it? Just gentle breathing, gentle stretching. And as a rest day, it's a, it's a really nice thing to do. Uh, oh, Leslie Beckwith says, I'm also doing yoga with Adrienne. Yes, yoga with Adrienne is wonderful. I do yoga with Adrienne as well. She's absolutely wonderful, isn't she? And again, I really like her approach. I think we think very similarly uh, in that you just do your best, you know, and you listen to your body and you do what feels right with you. So that's excellent. Well done, Leslie. Uh, Carmen says the knee is getting better every day. Thanks. I'm going to try the knee practice next week. Yes, Colin, the new one with the cushion. You can also, if you've got a Pilates ball, you can use the ball instead of the cushion. I used a cushion just because I know lots of people don't have one of these, uh, but you can do it with that as well. Uh, so, yeah, let me know how that goes for you, Carlin. And glad to hear your knee is recovering. OK, Janet Nolan says some of these exercises were definitely challenging for me this morning. Just getting back to it this week. Yes, I did throw a bit of a curveball in there, didn't I, everyone, with giving you uh, something quite challenging today. But I hope you're all OK <laughs> with that. And don't forget, um, my uh, new routine is that I will have a new video out on Sundays now. So Sunday morning at 10 a.m. I won't be live. I've already filmed the video, but I put one out at 10 a.m. on Sunday. This Sunday's a really nice uh, workout. It's just over 10 minutes. So it's 10 minutes and it's a standing spinal mobility. And that I did because I did have a request from a lady who wanted me to do a standing mobility routine for her husband, husband to be able to do. It is good for everybody. But if you are a golfer, it's also going to be great for you because there's a lot of thoracic rotation. So anyone who plays golf, probably tennis as well, actually, but certainly golf, you need to be able to really mobilize uh, your upper body, your upper part of your spine. Yes, yeah, so the area between the base of the neck and the bottom of the rib cage. So there's a lot of movements, uh, thoracic movements, and it's all standing. So do check that out if you get the chance. Uh, Stephanie Langton. Good morning, Stephanie. 
Stephanie says, morning, enjoyed today's session. Some of it was challenging, but I had a go. 42 weeks of daily Pilates reached today. Stephanie, well done. 42 weeks of daily Pilates. That's absolutely brilliant. And how do you feel, Stephanie? I'm hoping you feel fantastic. Um, I'm going to go down and have a look in the chat and see what you say in a second. Uh, Tiona says, great session, Rachel. Love core workouts, but did have a little mess up with slipping my feet one behind the other. Was a challenge. <laughs> Bless you, Cohen and Boone. Yes, the one where we were in the bridge position with the foot underneath. Yeah, that was a little bit of a challenge, uh, that one, that exercise, wasn't it? Uh, but well done for doing it. Uh, Caroline Hardy says, hi, just a query. I've made a donation, but it's not showing up on the chat. Should it? It definitely says I've donated. I don't want you to miss out. Um, right. I'll have to have a look in that, Caroline. I can't see, but I will go and have a look. Generally, what happens at my end, well, um, you can see it as well, is if someone donates, you can see a bar come up. But no, I can't see. I can't see anything, Caroline, but it may have come up and disappeared. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll get my Kerwin, my head of tech, as I call him, to have a look into that for us. Uh, but don't worry about it, because if it's confirming that you've donated, then you have donated. Um, it's probably just a glitch somewhere. So don't worry. Uh, Karina, thank you for the correction. Feliz Año Nuevo. <laughs> thank you very much. And to you, Karina. Helen Lees, good morning, Helen. Says, Happy New Year, Rachel Cohen and buddies. Enjoy getting back to exercise this week and looking forward to doing these new moves again. Uh, challenging, but really enjoyed them. Coffee's on the way. Thank you so much. Helen. Uh, Leslie Beckwith says, oh, yes, I need to be in shape when I'm in my 60s, uh, Margaret. <laughs> You're chatting to Margaret. How lovely. Super. Kathy Pierce. Thank you, Kathy, for your donation. Kathy, I hope you're well because I know you had COVID, didn't you, over New Year? So I hope you're all recovered now. I'm hoping that you're in class today it means that you're all better. And anyone else out there who has got COVID, I do wish you all the very best. I know quite a lot of people uh, in London have it at the moment. Um, so uh, luckily, because they've all had their injections, it's not too bad. But still, we do have to take care of ourselves. Um, OK, Stephanie Langton. Hello, Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie says, another 57-year-old here. I'll try part one in a day or so. Yeah, perfect, Stephanie. Maybe leave it a day and then go do part one. You'll really feel it in the legs, part one, Stephanie. It's a good one, though, for really getting that metabolism going. Uh, <laughs> Kathy says, thanks, Rachel. Great session. I'm on the sofa now relaxing. Day seven of isolation and still testing positive. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm glad you are relaxing on the sofa, Kathy, and taking care of yourself. That's the most important thing. So thanks for joining us today. And lots of get wells to Kathy. So thank you, everyone, for all your good wishes to Kathy there. Um, and Margaret says, well said, Rachel, about not being able to do all the exercises. I'm also going to try a new face-to-face -face yoga class today. Think it's restorative. Great, Margaret. Well, let me know how it goes. I have to say, you know, I'm, I don't teach yoga, but I've always dipped in and out of it because I like the stretches. Um, but I have found as I've got older, I've quite enjoyed doing it as a nice way to relax as well, to relax the brain and switch off the brain. Um, I do a really great class in uh, Brighton, actually, which is uh, called Yoga on the Wall. And it's where you have, um, trying to think how to explain it, but basically if you imagine your yoga straps and at the end of your yoga straps, there's like a metal bolt. It almost looks like a kind of a hinge joint. Yes, yeah, so it's like a ball and socket joint. And it's on the end of each of your straps and you put them into different holes in the wall at different heights and it aids your movement. So you can do it. So say you've got a bad knee, you can do it low down and take it around your leg and it supports you whilst you're in a warrior pose. But equally, uh, if you want to do headstands, so I can't do headstands because of my neck problem, but I do like hanging upside down. You can put them up high and put your legs in the straps and then hang yourself upside down against the wall and it 
feels amazing. So uh, yeah, that's my little treat that I do once a month. But enjoy your yoga class, uh, Margaret. Uh, Lady Varg, hello, Lady Varg. Says, hi, Rachel, happy new year and happy holidays. Best wishes for 22. And, and to you as well, Lady Varg. And thank you, uh, Lady Varg, for all your lovely emojis. And says, ah, now heard, yay for spine mobility. And please, more mobility Pilates for beginners. Thank you. You are the best. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, do check out Sunday. It's a really nice one for the spine mobility. And I will probably do a one on the mat as well at some point in the future. Rona Stevens. Hello, Rona. Happy New Year to you. Lovely to have you back. And lots of lovely comments coming in as well for Judy. So Judy Hogarth in Dorset. Lots of people sending you good wishes and telling you not to worry, yeah? What's most important, everybody, is that we are all in this together. So we're going to keep moving forward through 2022 with lots of fun times together, lots of really good exercise, good functional movement, enjoyable movement. And I hope to bring you some new and interesting things as well this year. All right. So I'm going to sign off for now. Just want to say to you all, thank you so much for joining me. I will be back next Friday live at 10 a.m. We will have a new video out Sunday morning at 10 a.m., which is just a 10 minute standing Pilates for spinal mobility. And please, if you can, share this with a friend, try and get more friends involved. Let's try and build our community this year. All right, so have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye.